this dream has been tainted, corrupted by the cruel contagion of lies. So perversely did their infamy seep into the crevices of civilization, only to be guised as factual drivel. This is the most contentious debate among scholars in astrophysics and diet science right now. Let's think about it from the ice cream's perspective. All the files have no mention of it. There will always be inexplicable things and questions about the universe. Astronaut ice cream has never even been to space. We have to understand that this story goes deeper than we think. Government malfeasance, moon landings, and extraterrestrials are but a few things that amass the cacophony of deceitfulness. However, there is something more demanding of imperative scrutiny. Made covert on market shelves, shrouded amongst trinkets and kitschy wares, in open, our culprit stalks its prey, bearing a moniker of mockery, Astronaut Ice Cream. I believe that this particular scheme was probably put in place to appeal to the youth of the nation while the space program was on its rise. To me, it's just shameful. How can ice cream be an astronaut? I remember as a kid, seeing the package, there's this astronaut in the front. I just dreamed of being up there where they were, eating what they ate. It's probably the reason I became an astronaut myself. The first meal in space, the whole crew gathered and I was like, hey guys, where's the ice cream? There was no ice cream. Where was the ice cream? Where was the ice cream indeed? This fool was not the lone victim of this trickery. Millions of children callously betrayed. But for why? If we continue with this cult of rationality that literally limits us from seeing the answers to these questions. There is something extremely common about this symbol, and it seems to have appeared independently in numerous cultures around the globe. This example we have here is a Paleolithic era cave illustration found outside of La Pasiega, Spain. This depicts what we can only assume to be an example of the ice cream. It is 25,000. People will cover up almost anything as long as it gets them off. Off the hook. In my time working for NASA, I've seen some things. It makes more sense to lie about our findings than to tell the public. There's always that worry if we told them, it would be mayhem. You know, they said I went crazy in isolation. Maybe I did. I just can't explain it. I remember walking out of the shuttle with nothing but the moon beneath my feet and the weightlessness. I started to head back, and there it was. And when I got home, I made the mistake of talking about what I saw, and I paid the price. Uh, listen, how about let's, uh, let's say, you don't say anything about what you saw, because you didn't see anything. It was there. What was there? Was it? This isn't being recorded, is it? Clearly, this goes deeper than we thought. We can trace its origins to a time of cultural or technological advancement. The image was seen both in photos from the unveiling of the telephone 
to Martin Luther King Jr.'s speech in Washington. You may ask yourself, why would this image, this thing, be manifested into individually wrapped snacks for naive tourists and stuck in museums? Well, ask yourself, if you were an ice cream sandwich, where would you want to be? Hmm? What better place than a monument of knowledge? I think it's some sort of beacon, a device for communication. What's it saying? I don't know. I don't think it's talking to us. We may never know the truth in this great mystery. However, each day we come closer to discovering the contents of the cream and seeing the secrets that lie between the wafers. If you could describe the plot in three words, what would it be? Out of this world.